Hello friends! Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new. Today we are going on a store walkthrough. This store is very cool. It has a lot of really cool vintage pieces in it, so I'm not even sure exactly what I would call it. It's like a hybrid kind of thrift store, but also antique store. But I guess it's technically maybe more of a pawn shop because <clears throat> you can, you know, go in and sell your things. I don't know. It's cause it wouldn't really be consignment. I don't know. It's like a buy and sell store, I guess. <laughs> we'll just call it that. But it has a lot of really cool pieces in it. So it's way cooler than just a thrift store. Now, at the first part of the store, there's just a bunch of shelves with kind of like in my opinion the typical things you would find in a thrift store but i did see this cool mixer this note on it is slightly disturbing <laughs> i know if it was me i would feel um unsafe using, <laughs> using something with a note like that but it would be a cool display piece it looks like a bit of a newer one like maybe late 70s 80s or something against the wall on the one side there's a bunch of these white shelves a lot of this is what I would consider like kind of knickknack things that you'd find in a typical thrift store. So I kind of go through it pretty quickly um, to get to the more interesting things. Now, I thought this was interesting. Um, it's Gemco, I believe, but it didn't have a design on it. I've never seen one with um, no design. I thought those salt and pepper shakers were really pretty. But then you can see like behind where I'm looking, there's like really old bottles. I thought it was neat. So that's kind of the things you might find in a more of in an antique store. So I kind of skim over um, the shelves just so that I can spend more time on the cooler pieces that are further into the store. Um, so stay tuned um but yeah i've been to the store a few times and i've every time i've thought oh i should do a walkthrough because there's so many cool things in here so they do also sell um blu-rays and like dvds they have a kind of section over there but i just kind of walked through the uh these black shelves fairly quick i didn't spend too much time focusing on anything just because I knew the store is quite large and I didn't want to make the video like I don't know it's already like a half hour so if I would have spent more time it, it could have probably been like an hour and a half video because I feel like there's probably things that you might notice that I didn't show really and it's probably because I didn't notice it because there's so many things in the store but I love it I love going here it's been um, a few months since I had been here at this time. I tried to go like first thing in the morning on a weekday <laughs> because I thought it wouldn't, it would be like the best time to film because it wouldn't be busy, but quite a few people ended up coming as soon as we were, like as soon as we got there because we got there when he opened. Um, so I don't know, it's, I always tried not to film other people, so. I don't know I might have like missed some things just because I stopped filming so on the opposite wall of the bookshelves there's a big wall full of CDs and then there's a whole other room as well it, the store is massive it's very deceptive from the outside the first time I came in I couldn't believe how much um <clears throat> like how much stuff was in there and how big it was I think the first time I came was just to look for movies because John had been here a few times before me because they do have this big like retro video game section which I didn't really um, show I think at the very end I just sort of took a little clip of it um, because it's right up at the front like basically next to the cash register and it was really busy up there because like I said people um, you know he buys things from people so there was a lot of people there like wanting to sell things right away so it was a little crowded up there in the kind of movie and dvd section there's also usually a lot of seasons of tv shows and if you've seen my um uh like my kind of vhs store thing in the basement or i think i made one sharing all of the tv shows i have you know that I have a lot of them um, and he'll let you actually bring in seasons and just straight trade them for other seasons. So 
I think we've done that a couple of times where we've had duplicates and then we can just come in. So I did actually see quite a few there that um, I kind of wanted. And the prices are really good too. I think all TV show seasons are like $10, which is fairly decent. Um, actually, his pricing in general is extremely good in my opinion. Like it's better than a thrift store and you would think it would be higher than in thrift store um just where he has some nicer things but i feel like everything i seen was priced extremely reasonably on the shelf i noticed a bunch of like avon perfume bottles i have always loved the giraffe um so had two of those and uh i i don't think i've ever seen this before but i thought it would be really cute like decor for like a craft room where it was like a th thread There are just so many things in the store, um, things that I wouldn't expect to see. So I'm, I'm just, like I said, kind of just quickly skimming over the shelves just to show them to you, but also not to spend too much time because I thought this little like lamp was interesting. It would have just taken forever, but I feel like most of, mostly what was on the shelves was things you'd find in a typical thrift store, like knickknack type things or dishes, glasses. I thought this creamer was really pretty too. And <clears throat> but the store is massive. I actually seen so many things in here though that I want that I didn't realize were there. Um maybe they were there the last time I was there, but then looking at this footage i'm also seeing other things so i'm like oh i'd love that but i'm trying to be fairly good because yard sale season is coming and we plan on doing a lot of that now i spotted this from way back there and i thought oh my god this is so adorable um the the writing on the side is a worn off a little so i'm not sure um who made it or whatever but i thought that was so cute <laughs> Yeah, but we plan on doing a lot of yard selling this season, so just kind of like saving my money from for that, and so there'll probably be a lot of yard sale hauls in the future. I thought this owl was really cute, and he is a bank, that's what I thought he might be. I don't think he's vintage or anything, though. I have a couple of these already, but I spotted this deer candle. Um, I have a couple that I used to decorate with at Christmas. I noticed this planter down here on the bottom. I think this would be like supposed to be like Little Red Riding Hood maybe. I think it's like homemade just by the initials on the bottom. Then I spotted these old tobacco cans up here. These always get me feeling nostalgic for childhood <laughs> because um, my dad was a smoker and my grandparents smoked as well. So I have so many pictures from childhood and you can see tobacco cans in the background, like on the counter or something. So we've almost made it to the end like of one section. <laughs> so the black shelves are kind of done now. But in this corner, was just tools which I didn't bother showing so I didn't think that would be of great interest. I saw these like stoneware mugs and I really liked them a lot. They're actually not like too too small and then I noticed these ones up here which were a little bigger than the ones on the bottom but I really don't need mugs, but I was tempted <laughs> when I saw them. I really liked these glasses too. They probably went with like a pitcher or something, I'm thinking. Um, so there's a lot of glasses on these wooden shelves. <laughs> this little like cheese board, so pretty. I also thought these were really beautiful too. I love colored glass i feel like you don't really see it very often now these glasses are stunning and i am still thinking about them um i didn't get them but <laughs> i was just thinking about them before i started 
recording this i filmed this like a week and a half ago i think um yeah i really like those glasses they were really reasonably priced too um i was trying to figure out what this was but then i realized it's the cn tower from toronto so that's why it has it's like in the same shape of it i could not wrap my mind around it when i first saw it though so on the other side we've got more dishes but then we're starting to get into like furniture and other things i was noticed these um like stonework canisters i don't think i've ever seen um, canisters before so i thought that was cool so my fellow canadians might recognize these but they had a ton of the olympic glasses i think from the 88 olympics i'm not sure where they were um but you could buy these glasses at a gas station if i'm correct i know my parents had a whole bunch but he had a big collection of them there so they definitely remind me of my childhood because we had a whole bunch so now we're starting to get into some of what i think is really cool things so they had some more um old bottles there and then they had these like m m dispensers which i thought were cute but then this big thing filled with, I guess, vintage bottle caps. <clears throat> at first I thought it was like a game or something. And then look at this sewing machine like toy from, I don't know, maybe the 50s or something. I stared at this for the longest time. I kept thinking, should I get this and use it as decor in my craft room? Because I think that would make such cute decor. It doesn't work, but the fact that it's only $10, that's what I mean about it. Prices being like really good. So I guess now I'm showing you maybe more of the dispensers. They just had so many like cool little toys. I think this um, is like a bank that sorts your coin for you but it looks fairly old. And then this one looked even older. I don't know if it's a, supposed to be a bank too. I was a little confused. I have this little Casper here, just hanging out. This Dick Tracy lunchbox had me. <laughs> the Aladdin was obviously from the 90s, but I mean, if you think about it, that's like 30 years ago. This like, I guess, I think they're called spin tops. This looked quite old. Um, and then there's all these shelves lining the, the back wall as well. I spotted a light bright. I do believe this is an actual old original light bright. I had one when I was a kid. I know they've like re-released re it in recent years, I think, but that one did look um, old. I didn't, I couldn't find a price on it, but I'm assuming it was probably priced pretty reasonably just considering what prices I was seeing on things but there's so many like so many things in there I didn't even really look at like all of those pictures and things because just it would have taken forever and then just because every thrift store antique store has a creepy clown in it somewhere <laughs> that one was no exception um, so then there was some more kind of older Disney things, this Mickey, I believe he was a bank as well. And then I noticed this like nutcracker, I think somebody just made this out of like those clay pots. I love these pictures so much, they're velvety, um, they've been up here like since the first time I came in. I don't think I have anywhere that I could really put them, but uh, I love them so much. Every time I see them, I think, where can I put these? <laughs> but I just don't think I have anywhere I could put it. I love these clocks too. We used to have one in the thrift store I worked at that I thought about buying for the longest time for like the top of my TV, but I never did. And then somebody came in and bought it while I was working. I noticed they had some of these like Jurassic Park um, figures in still in the box. I don't, there's been so many movies. I don't know if these would have been like the original from um, I mean, when the first movie came out or, but I'm assuming maybe they're nineties. And then I noticed while I was looking at that, this big R2D2 up top, which <clears throat> I tried to open cause it looks like he opens up, but it wasn't really opening easily so I just thought I better not mess with that I don't want to accidentally break something but I love this R2-D2 I didn't see a price on him but 
I'm assuming it's probably not too much, although some Star Wars stuff can be really collectible and get quite a high price. And I did notice that they had some Star Wars things still in the package. Again, there's been so many movies, I don't know what era they would have been from. I think the first time I came here, I was hoping they would have VHS, which they don't, except for this section of like Disney kids VHS here. Although part of me thinks, cause I think I've heard him say that he does have more DVDs in the back. So part of me thinks maybe he has some VHS back there too, but I never think to ask him until I leave. So moving along here, um, along the back wall, these shelves, they had some of these like Colonel Sanders, um, their banks, uh, th there's two different sizes. I feel like maybe these might've been like things that you got for free sometimes if you got like a big meal or something. I remember getting random KFC merchandise. Um, and then they had this other colored one, which was also a bank just it's just interesting stuff I guess to me like you don't see it every day um, and then I spotted this other Mickey he looks like maybe he's dressed up to like play baseball or something um, he was made of like really like heavy like thick kind of plastic and so then while I was looking at the Mickey I noticed this mattress at first I thought it was a crib mattress but then I realized, no, it's actually like an old for like, um, you know, like lounge chairs and it's only $5. This is the kind of thing when I saw it, it was like, this sort of looks like 1960s to me. Um, and I thought, oh, it's only $5, but I was like, I don't have a chair to use it in and it probably wouldn't hold up the greatest if it is actually that old, but I don't know, just interesting stuff you don't see every day. So then um, I guess they have some clothing in here as well. At first I thought those like um, vests were like Harley Davidson and that's like a brand that sells really good for us. So that's why I looked at those. While I was looking over there, I looked up and saw this beautiful fan on the wall. Again, I have nowhere to put this, but I just loved it. So now we've made it to another corner of the store. I've been looking for one of these like washboard things for my laundry room but I don't think I have anywhere to put it. So I've come to the conclusion that even though I want one, I don't think there's really room down there. I've been working on my like laundry room project for a long time, but it's almost done. So I'm gonna share soon. That big wooden corner shelf there, it would fit in perfectly with the shelves that I already have in my dining room, but I don't have any more room for another shelf. But when as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh, I really like that. But again, I don't have room for it. They had some old tins and things here, and then I noticed they had an old glass jar of peanut butter. And whenever I see these, it like triggers the memory of when I was a kid, everything didn't come in plastic. Things still came in glass. And it's just interesting how, what a big shift happened where now everything is just plastic. And it's interesting that we don't go back to glass considering we know the like environmental impact, but I don't know. I think I've shown them before, but I have a set of um, almost identical little cocktail forks there that I just saw that I love so much. And then on this bookshelf I saw, I think this is like one of those dolls of the world, or maybe it's just like a knockoff version of it, but it was still in the package, but it kind of looks creepy the way it's all flattened out. <laughs> there seemed to be just a lot of really random different things over in this corner. I did see this dartboard with this picture on the front of it. Almost like the corner for things that had no other place to go. And then on the wall here, there's a couple of shelves with board games. You know, we collect board games. Uh, there wasn't anything there of interest um, to me, but... I did just spot a Christmas tree in the box though when I panned over there. I don't think I noticed that at first. And then just kind of moving on, I've got some more uh, like furniture type stuff. So I saw this wicker um, desk slash vanity 
and then there's a wicker chair there so i don't know if they go together they had this big uh stash of old glass bottles this this made me want to like go get some coke or something in a glass bottle maybe they had this big um like light box sign this is like a business that is like in the area because after we left here i actually noticed it i thought oh that's the same name as that sign so this must have just been an older sign i love these type of signage so then i noticed a bunch of vacuums here i think some of them were older i know one is like sort of an older style where you just have the long hose in the front part and then the other part just kind of drags along behind you i hadn't seen one like this in a long time this is the kind of vacuum we had when i was growing up though you just don't see them made that way anymore so it's interesting but then this has happened quite a few times but immediately after i finished filming this area somebody came over and bought that um vacuum that i was just talking about because i while i was looking at it i thought i wonder if anyone still uses this type of vacuum and then lo and behold somebody comes over and buys it it's happened uh a few times it happened with the a few weeks ago with like the chair that i said i wanted to buy and then as i was thinking it someone came and bought it so they do have some records here they have actually a big section of records in the other room that i'm gonna go in and show you but i just flipped through briefly i definitely don't need any more though i was so perplexed on what this was like, I knew it looked like a post box, but then when I zoomed in, um, I think Melissa and Doug is, like, a toy company that makes, like, a lot of wooden toys, so that made sense. And then I did notice this box filled with what I think is all, like, 90s era um, Star Wars stuff, but it was only $2. But some of it was still new in the package, but this was, like, when the episode, like, 1, 2, and 3 came out. A couple of my friends actually were collecting Star Wars stuff since they were kids in the 80s. So they have totes and totes filled. And I bet you if they sold that on eBay, they would have a decent profit from all that. <clears throat> so I saw this really pretty jewelry box and I had to open it to see what the inside looked like. And it has this really pretty blue velvet um, lining very pretty i used to have one like this but it had yellow on the inside and then this one had a drawer in the bottom too so it was a good size i loved this kind of mid-century era dresser that's like my mid-century aesthetic that i like the best we actually have a dresser that's similar but it's actually modern because we were in lockdown when we needed to buy it so then i'm entering into the other rooms you can see there's tons of records there a lot of different stereos and things like that i didn't think this room would be that interesting but i just figured i would show it anyway but then i ended up seeing a lot of cool stuff in here so it surprised me as well um but yeah just a little electronic kind of stuff at the very beginning there there's not as much stuff in here but i had this grandfather clock this made me think like do they even still make these anymore i feel like with everyone having a smartphone like clocks have almost become obsolete because everyone's always carrying their phone around so you can easily see what time it is so through the shelf there i did spot the old hair dryer here i love these i love it in this color too particularly but like part of me was like oh i kind of want to get get that but theoretically like what am i going to do with it i don't really have a way to just put it out on display maybe if i had a bigger bathroom or something it might be nice i don't know but they have a bunch of mattresses in here. I'm assuming this might be like overstock or something. Let's say. And then I spotted this piece. And I was just in that room looking at this piece for the longest time. I was like, but why do I need this in my house? And I'm still thinking about it. Um, I just love it. I actually have something similar that I love. That, but it's a bit bigger and I have it in my living room but I don't know I was borderline thinking like that I kind of want this in my office it's 
oh, I just love it. Anyway, I just turned off the camera and thought about it some more. <laughs> but I was like, okay, let's just carry on with filming and we can think about that later. So I had this big deep freeze in here. And I think that my grandma had the exact same deep freeze when I was a kid. Um, it was the same size for sure, but the inside looked the same and like it had the same basket. Um, they had this really old looking Bible that was uh, interesting looking. So there was more shelving back here um, in this room with kind of like random knickknack type stuff. Um, nothing of great interest, I don't think. They had um, a bunch of CD holders. John's been collecting CDs again for a few months now, so I thought maybe the black one might work. He keeps them in his office, so... We thought maybe the black one might be good for him. It was, they were both pretty dusty, but it would hold a lot of CDs. I did notice a wooden high chair next to those as well. And then next to the high chair, I did notice these two old board games. So this Welcome Back Cotter board game. I'm assuming this was 70s and then um, this stop thief game which actually looks really interesting I think I meant to um, ask John if he wanted to look at it but I just forgot because I was looking at so much stuff I'm sure if I really wanted it it's probably still there then I noticed these two old trunks behind me that are made from like wood so I'm assuming they're quite old they're in um, but it had like almost like a fabric on top of it. It was kind of weird. Um, I thought maybe I could open it, but that was not working. So I was like, I better just leave these alone. But they weren't in like the greatest of shape. Uh, like they were missing the lock parts, but it was just cool. It's not something you see every day. And then I noticed all of these Hot Wheel cars. And then I realized they had a note there saying they were not released in Canada. So. They were all kind of like, seemed to be like holiday themed, like Easter, St. Patrick's Day, Mardi Gras. And then uh, while I was looking at those, I noticed this lamp <laughs> um, made out of popsicle sticks, <laughs> which I thought looked really interesting. I wanted to get a better look at it, um, but then when I, when I touched it, I realized, ooh, this is slightly fragile, so maybe I better just leave that alone before I end up, like, breaking part of it off. But I just thought it was interesting. Obviously, somebody, you know, made that themselves. Whenever I see stuff like that, I just, it, like, warms my heart thinking about someone spending all that time on it. Um, so some milk glass there. And then I spotted these, which are so cute. These very old uh, from the 70s. And they're the ones that you pull a string and I guess they walk or I guess, I mean, I didn't try to test them out, but it's just neat to see things like that. Lots of things hanging on the wall and I saw this sign. <laughs> I kind of want like a funny, like corny sign for my kitchen, um, but I haven't really come across one that would like fit my aesthetic, but that one I think would fit my aesthetic. So then that was it for that room, just coming outside of that room. They had a, this little like stereo stand with a bunch of that. And then here I'm just giving you a small look at the old video game section when I guess there was not a lot of people around. That's what we were here for, John, was um, trading in a bunch of games. But I had mentioned um, wanting to film a walkthrough in the store for a while, so we just decided to do that today. So that is it for the store. I did get one thing. I ended up buying a dog. I think it was adorable. I think it was only $3. And yeah, I'm I'm happy with it. I think it's really cute. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you again soon.